Hi everyone, welcome back to a recipe video. On this Valentine's Day, treat yourself and your loved ones with these yummy delicious desserts. Hope you would like it. Keep watching. So let's begin with a cookie recipe that's chocolate kringle cookies. For this into a mixing bowl add quarter cup butter that's at room temperature then goes 2/3 cup of sugar you can use a whisk i switched to electric beater to make it fast beat it till it becomes creamy then add 2 eggs adding one at a time that's 1 teaspoon vanilla essence keep that aside for a minute into another bowl sift 1 and 1/3 cup of all purpose flour then sift in 3 tablespoons cocoa powder you can even sift all at a time add 1 teaspoon baking powder and then quarter teaspoon salt just a mix and add it to the butter mixture beat for around 3 to 4 minutes scraping the sides in between this is red food color totally optional just add it to give a color to the valentine cookie when you get a smooth dough cover it and place it in the refrigerator at least 3 to 4 hours preferably overnight then into a plate add powdered sugar you'll need just half cup take out the dough that was resting for 3 to 4 hours you may use an ice cream scoop i used 1/8 measuring cup this ensures equal size roll it out and then roll in the powdered sugar place it on a baking tray lined with a baking paper don't forget to preheat the oven to 175 degrees celsius place the tray in the preheated oven for 12 minutes or maximum 15 minutes Take the tray out and while it's still warm place some chocolate chips on top or a small piece of any chocolate and then so it can be had warm or after cooling down i love it warm it has a fudgy texture and it's absolutely divine Next is a really soft and moist dates cake with caramel sauce. And for this of course you'll need soft and fleshy dates almost 1 cup. You may add more dates and reduce the amount of sugar, it's up to you. Here I have used 1 cup pitted dates. To this add 4 teaspoons instant coffee powder. Add 1 cup hot water. Give a mix and cover. Keep aside. into a bowl sift 1 and 1/2 cup all purpose flour 1 teaspoon baking powder 1 teaspoon baking soda and quarter teaspoon salt
into another large mixing bowl add half to 3 fourth cup of vegetable oil i have used sunflower oil you may even use melted butter then add 3 fourth cup of tightly packed brown sugar it's okay to use white sugar if you don't have brown sugar beat for a minute then you'll need 2x adding one at a time then add vanilla essence 1 teaspoon meanwhile the dates have gone really soft add that to the bowl and beat for a minute then add the sifted flour adding half at a time beat on low speed for 3 to 4 minutes or until well combined take a baking tray spread some oil or butter all over pour the batter place it in a preheated oven at 180 degrees celsius and bake for 25 to 30 minutes or until a skewer comes out clean and that's done now for the caramel sauce into a saucepan add 100 grams of butter half to 3/4 cup of brown sugar then add 3/4 cup of fresh cream or whipping cream and then quarter teaspoon salt Just a mix and keep on medium flame. Let it boil for a minute and then take it off. Poke holes in the cake. Now pour the sauce over the cake while it's still hot. Slice and have it. It's really soft, moist and tasty. Next is strawberry cream cheese parfait which I had shared a picture on my Instagram. So here's the recipe for this simple treat. Into a blender add some digestive biscuits almost 8 to 10 biscuits. Pulse it few times. Then add quarter cup melted butter and again pulse few times. So this is what you get and then keep aside. Here I have taken fresh strawberries. You may use frozen if you don't find the fresh ones. Chop them into pieces. Keep a few aside for garnish. Add the chopped strawberries in a saucepan. To this add 1/2 cup sugar. Keep on medium low heat and let it boil. Into another bowl, add one cup cream cheese. To this, add half cup sugar, one teaspoon vanilla essence, and whisk well. Whisk till it becomes really smooth and creamy, and the sugar is all dissolved. Meanwhile, the strawberries have turned soft, so off the flame and let it cool down. Into a glass, add a spoon of the biscuits. Press light to level it. Meanwhile the strawberries have cooled down a bit so blend it to a puree. If you have piping bag it's easy to add in the glass if not then use a spoon. Add 
add the cream cheese as an next layer. Then goes the biscuits again. And add some strawberry puree. Then again the cream cheese. Then the biscuits. You may even add chopped strawberries and nuts. It's up to you. At the top, pour some puree and garnish with a sliced strawberry. Refrigerate for an hour and the easy yet delicious parfait is ready. Next is chocolate truffles with coconut, the most easiest recipe of all. All you need is 1 tin condensed milk, that's 395 grams. Then 2 tablespoons cocoa powder. This is desiccated coconut, that's dry coconut. Adding half cup, you can make this even without the coconut. Just a mix. Now this is orange zest that takes these truffles to the next level. So don't skip it. It adds a lot of flavor. You may add around half to one teaspoon. Chocolate and orange really have a good combination. Add a piece of butter, I would say 50 grams and keep on medium heat and cook stirring it all time. You can see the mixture is really loose. When you scrape the bottom, the mixture flows back quickly. You need to cook till it becomes thick. Now the mixture is coming off the pan and it's thick and cooked. So it's time to off the flame. Transfer to a heat proof glass bowl. Cover and let it cool down. You don't have to place it in the refrigerator. Once it's cooled down, it's time to roll. So in a plate, Add desiccated coconut. Take out the chocolate mixture. Take a spoonful and roll. You will get a smooth ball. Roll it in the coconut. This is optional again. You may even roll it in crushed nuts or sprinkles. Now to give a valentine color, you may add a drop of red food color in the coconut and mix. Final one is a blueberry cheesecake. If you don't have blueberries, you can even use strawberries or any berries. Into a saucepan, add 1 cup blueberries. Then add quarter cup and 2 tablespoons of sugar. Keep on low flame, let it boil and be soft. Add a tablespoon of lemon juice. Boil for a minute and then off the flame. If you have a food processor, use that or a blender would also do. Here I have added the digestive biscuits into a ziplock bag. Crush with a rolling pin. You will need a total of 100 grams crushed biscuits. Then melt 75 grams of butter. Mix the melted butter into the biscuits. So this is the base of the cheesecake. 
you will need a spring foam tin for the cake. Spread the biscuit mix and layer it evenly. Keep in the refrigerator until we make the cream cheese mix. Take 200 grams of cream cheese into a mixing bowl. Just smoothen it. Add half cup fresh cream. Add 2 tablespoons of curd and 1 tablespoon lemon juice. Then goes half to 3 fourth cup of sugar. Mix well until the sugar is dissolved. Now for setting it, you will need gelatin. Many had asked about the gelatin that I use. I am in Saudi Arabia and we get halal certified gelatin. It doesn't contain pork. You will need 10 grams of gelatin. Mix in 2 tablespoons of water and double boil to melt it. Add the melted gelatin to the cream mixture. Then goes 1 cup whipped cream. Mix well. Meanwhile the blueberry has cooled down. So blend it to a puree. Take out the cake tin from the refrigerator. Pour half the cream mixture onto it. Spread evenly and then add 1 or 2 tablespoons of the blueberry puree. This is optional. If you want your layer to be completely white, you can skip this. And then repeat pouring the rest half. Keep in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Into 1 cup whipping cream, add the puree and mix. Again add 10 grams melted gelatin and whisk. After 30 minutes, the cream cheese mix is set. Pour the prepared mix on top. Refrigerate for 3 to 4 hours or overnight. Garnish with some blueberries on top and serve. This is very creamy, soft and very delicious. So that's for today's Valentine treats. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to try out and I would love to hear your feedback. Share among your friends and family. See you with another video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.